Now, moving on, Russian President Vladimir Putin has signaled resuming production of intermediate range missiles. The missile was earlier banned under Russia's now scrapped treaty with the U.S. Now, as for Putin, this is a move against U.S.'s move to deploy the missiles in both Europe and Asia. The Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty came into effect in 1988. It banned ground-based nuclear and conventional missiles with a range of 500 to 5,500 kilometers and was regarded as an arms control landmark. The U.S. withdrew from the treaty in 2019, citing Russian violations as the reason. An acquisition Moscow denies. Пока. In any case, we need to react, to think and make decisions about what we should do next in this area. Apparently, we need to start manufacturing these strike systems and then, based on the actual situation, make decisions about where, if necessary, to ensure our safety, to place them. Now, this comes just a day after Russian missiles struck a nine-story a residential building in Ukraine's Dnieper on Friday. At least one person has been killed and 12 others, including a seven-month-old infant, have been reported injured. Four stories of the building collapsed after sustaining the blow and death toll is likely to rise. Separately, U.S. will provide Ukraine with $150 million worth of weapons and ammunition. This will exclude, include, pardon, a hawk, air defense interceptors and 155 mm artillery munitions. Now, responding to Ukraine's desperate calls for increased air defense systems, the Biden administration has signaled that the weapons aid package is expected to be unveiled on Monday. The package will come from the Presidential Drawdown Authority, a mechanism that allows the president to quickly transfer defense articles and services from U.S. stocks to support allies.